What's happening, sports fans? Thank you very much for sticking with, just joining, tuning back in, whatever the heck you're doing, however you stumbled upon this uh, lovely sports enterprise that we call San Diego Prep Insiders High School Basketball Coverage, Division Two edition right now. Now, this is one that uh, is, is a, there's a whole drama and whatever. We don't need to talk about that because we're now just talking about the finalized edition of this. Games to be played on Wednesday of next week. So what do you say we dive right into it? Um, oh. I want to ask you this first question, Aaron, because Rancho Buena Vista in the top 10 conversation all season long, they win the number one seed. Let's do RBV or the field before we get into this. The field. I will take RBV. Um, so that being said, our first game, Rancho Buena Vista, the Longhorns at the one seed will take on the 16 seeded Grossmont Foothillers. Obviously, I think that Rancho Buena Vista is able to win this whole bracket. So it goes without saying, I think they win this game. I do too. Um, that's all we need to do sometimes. Next one, the Scripps Ranch Army Navy game. I've seen this one played already this season, and I think Scripps Ranch pulls it out again. Okay. Um, when was that game played? I mean, a minute ago. No, I mean, was it before transfer uh, be December or was Dude, it? I couldn't tell you what I had for breakfast this morning. Okay. Because if it was before December, I, I think you got to throw those um, throw that out. I'll tell you what. It, in about eight minutes, I'll find it on our Instagram and I'll tell you. Okay. I'm gonna pick. Tepidly pick Army Navy on this one as the nine seed getting the upset. Uh, ever since they added Kobe Haraway to the lineup, uh, it's it's been you know smooth sailing for them for the most part against teams that are you know of their like you know uh, of their like caliber. Obviously, they play in a really tough league. Uh, Scripps Ranch you know plays in a a league that's competitive for where they're at. Uh, but I like being battle tested out of the Coastal League, and I like Alexis Marmalejos, Kobe Haraway, and those guys. I think they're going to get the upset. Fair enough. As I continue to look for when I watch those two teams played, we'll move one bracket down to the number five Olympian Eagles and Gio Martinez taking on the number 12 Point Loma Pointers. I'll go Point Loma for the upset here. I'm going to go Olympian. Um, they just the, the the speed. It was December twenty first. Yeah, so it was right before Kobe Haraway um, was eligible. Uh, I'm gonna go Olympian. I just think they the style of play, you know, press the ball pressure, things like that. Uh, Point Loma's guard play has been spotty at best this year, um, and I think that that's gonna be the deciding factor. The turnovers we're gonna get high. Olympian's gonna get out and run it, and they're playing at home. Our next game, as we move on to the winner of that game, we'll play the winner of this game. It's number four, Bishops, number 13, Lincoln. It's an interesting one. It's an interesting one. I think Bishops has a lot of underrated shooters, though, um, from beyond the arc. So I will go with Bishops winning this one. I'm going to go Bishops, too, but this is going to be a close one. Um, Jeff Harper Harris has done a really good job turning the season around. I mean, they were, uh, as recently as three and a half weeks ago, they were the 18th seed in the playoffs. I mean, in, in Division Two, They weren't in the playoffs. Come all the way back to the, get to the 13th seed, 7-3 and three in league. They haven't lost since losing to uh, East Lake in January. I think they've got a lot going for them. I think this is going to come down to the wire, but I think P Bishops narrowly pulls it off. Moving down to the other side of the bracket, Carlsbad, the number three seed, takes on the number 14 seed, Oceanside. Uh, Carlsbad's really good this year, as we saw with their win against uh, Torrey Pines. Obviously, they are not a runaway favorite dominant in this category, but you still got to think that they win this first-round matchup. I think this is the team to beat in the field, period. I, I, think, that, I think that they've got, with Jalen Nelson in the lineup, they've got a legit – um, point guard who can really win you some ball games with his decision making and his ability to score and play make. I like them to win this game. I like them to move on to the championship. I like them in this field. Well, you liking them to move on is really interesting because they have a potential for something ah, fun. There we go. Yeah. Uh, the next game, the winner of Carlsbad and Oceanside will play the winner of Mount Miguel and Otay Ranch. Now, last year's Division Three championship was Carlsbad versus Mount Miguel for 70 trillion overtimes. It was some UConn-Syracuse level stuff. Uh, and... Now Mount Miguel, the sixth seed, is going to take on the 11th seed at Otay Ranch for a chance to move on. You mentioned of the field the team you would pick. I was thinking Mount Miguel because their physicality mm -hmm. interior. But regardless, I will think that Mount Miguel wins this one to move on to a wonderfully juicy plot line of a rematch. I'm going to go with Otay Ranch in this one. Okay. Um, Otay Ranch actually has had a really underrated year. 
they've got a couple of kids in the middle who um, plug things up. Uh, Colby Yates is one of them. And then the other one I really like on this team is Raekwon King. Uh, 6'3", athletic wing, you know, averaging 18 points a game. This is the type of team that gives Mount Miguel trouble. I'm going to go with Otai. Fair enough. Uh, last corner of the bracket to talk about. Number seven, Escondido. Number 10, Mira Mesa. Both of these teams are officially league champions. Yep. You should go check out our League Championship Edition podcast. Um, I will go with Mira Mesa. I think that Mira Mesa is a team that, despite a couple of losses during the season where you kind of scratch your head and go, ooh, that was confusing. They have the playmaker-y, athletic-y vibe that you look for in a playoff team. This is going to be the closest game in the bracket. Um, Escondido, tough at home. Um, you know, they've been playing they, – they ran through the Valley League, I mean, yeah. with very little resistance. I got – I drove all the way up to Ramona thinking I was going to watch, like, you know, Ramona – you know, win that game and set up a winner take all on the you know, in the final week of the season, and Escondido just completely blew up that plot line. With that said, Noah Tumlin in this game. I mean, how do you how do you stop him if you're PJ Baldwin? I know he's got his work cut out for him. I'm gonna pick I'm gonna pick Miramesa as well, but don't be surprised if Escondido wins this. Fair enough. Our last game, Westview Benita Vista. I have no more. I, I'm never picking against Westview in a first round anything ever again. I know they're the higher seed in this one, so it's not going to technically be an upset. But look, man, they ruin people's brackets for days. So I am done picking against Westview until next round. I'll pick them, Westview. All right. So we agree on that one. It seems to be that we agree on a lot of things. We also both sound like we're sort of running out of voice. So I will just say goodbye, Ooh. folks. Peace.